Today's video is sponsored by Petflo. I and many of you really love Petflo because they make taking care of your dog almost effortless. They'll ship your dog's food directly to your front door at any time interval you'd like. So every two weeks, for example. So you never have to worry about running out of food again. It's like having endless dog food. Petflo has all of the best high quality brands for your dog to choose from. So you can find the perfect one for your dog. It's super easy to set up. You choose your dog's favorite food and just tell Petflo how often you'd like it to be delivered. You can edit or cancel your delivery schedule at any time for any reason at all. To make it super easy for you to try, Petflo is gonna give you $10 off your first three automatic shipments when you enter code ZAK30 at checkout. So give it a shot, see if it's for you, and I'm confident you'll be happy. I'll have the link and coupon code in the description. Click thumbs up for Goldie, the 10 week old golden doodle puppy. Subscribe to this channel, follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And if you've got a new dog or a dog at all for that matter, make sure you pick up a copy of my book. Keep the world's most popular dog training series going strong. Help us fund our production and get better access to me at our Patreon community, link below. Today is my first time meeting Goldie and my very first training session with her. So I thought it might be a good idea to do some training exercises with her and go over some things that you need to keep in mind with your new dog on their first day. First week or first month even. The first thing that you're gonna to wanna to prioritize is getting to know your new puppy. My general goal here is just to see how receptive she is to communicating with me. Today I'm using a very high value currency, real meat. Remember, almost everybody uses pieces that are way too big. So we're gonna keep them nice and small. I don't even know if Goldie knows how to sit yet, so let's see. We'll just use that nose and this turkey like magnets to lure her back until that butt just falls into a sit. Let's see. Almost. Sit. Very good. You can see how she's a little receptive to lure training with young dogs like this. Their focus can be so in and out that, you know, even though you're using something like real turkey, they may go in and out. See right there, she's like, what about the other hand? I'm trying to keep her focused on this hand. Don't worry if your puppy doesn't seem to know what you're asking of them just yet. You're in the very beginning stages of building your communication. Plus, you've got all of my videos on YouTube to help you out, so don't sweat anything. Sit until her butt just hits the ground, so sit looks really good. How about look at me? Look at me is a core skill that all dogs need to have, because you have to be able to get their attention on you and look at you so that you can guide them. So I'm gonna use the treat, hold it up here, so I have eye contact almost, yes. Even though I kind of had a little eye contact, she was mainly looking at the treat, that's still okay. We can focus on phasing out the treat in a future lesson. Let me combine sit and look at me now. Let's just see if we can get that. Yes. Look at me, good job, you're amazing. Impulse control is a huge thing in dog training. That's where we have to teach our dogs how to override their initial impulses. For example, if I put a piece of meat right here in front of Goldie and I say, leave it alone, well, that, that's not very effective, is it? You can't just do what you want because you want to all the time. What if that was a squirrel running across the street? So let's quickly teach her how to leave a piece of meat alone without restraining her or forcing her to leave it alone in any way. We're gonna teach her to think. That's why this is a powerful exercise. So I'm gonna close my hand every time she goes for it. When she backs off, I'm going to reveal it. And I'm just looking for her to show just a tiny bit of restraint at first. So right now, she's just acting impulsively, trying to get that tree. That's not what we want. Yes, good job. So right there, she just stopped on her own, I appreciate that, but still, she's not leaving that treat alone yet. Yes, right there. I like that she kind of laid off for just a minute second, but let's see if we can improve that just a little bit more. And every time she goes for the treat, I'm just gonna pull away until she shows some restraint. So when you see it in your dog's eyes that they're trying, make sure you let them know that you appreciate that. Yes, good girl. Now we're starting to hit some momentum. I'm not saying leave it or anything like that. I'm just strictly communicating with her visually yes, here. Good. Now let's see if we can get her to exhibit three seconds of impulse control. Yes, good job. I'll take it. For our first leave it training session, she's off to a great start. Another great way to really increase communication with your dog is to play with them. Some dogs are into some toys more than others. That's why it's important to try out a huge variety of different toys to really find out what your dog likes. This is what you want. If your dog is this intense about a toy, you've probably got the right one. And it's really important that you understand that your dog picks their favorite toy. You don't get to do that, but some things you can do to increase the likelihood that your dog is gonna like a toy is make it really interesting. Move it around a little bit. You want these toys to really retain their potency, so it's important not to let your dog have access to it unless you're engaging it. In other words, you want this toy to always be exciting 
every time you bring it out. Play is important because it accelerates the bond between you and your dog like nothing else can. And it allows you to get to know each other really well and very quickly. And that equals faster training success. Keep in mind that just because your dog loves a toy during one training session, they may lose interest in that the next day or eventually or whatever. So you wanna make sure that you have a variety of different toys that you can play with. Aside from toys being a really great way for you to bond with your dog, they're also great for rewards and for just enriching your dog's life in general. If your dog has a problem puppy biting, as Goldie currently is right now, because she's young and teething, uh, having the right kind of toys to get their attention on is also crucial. And see, you see what I'm doing here? I'm making the toy interesting. I'm not just offering the toy saying do something with it. Think outside the box when it comes to offering toys to your dogs as well. Sometimes traditional dog toys may not interest your particular dog. One of my favorite dog training hacks are cat toys. And while you wouldn't really encourage your dog to play tug of war with this, you might be able to encourage them to chase it around. Getting your dog to chase something is still play even if it's not tug. It helps with their coordination. It's fun for them. Look at that. <laughs> if you're using a toy like this, you would want to make sure they don't grab a hold of it and swallow any feathers. But this is really just to kind of get her engaging with me. See how much fun she's having there, right? And when your dog is having fun with you, they're more likely to listen to you. So there's more to play than might meet the eye. Of course, a tennis ball is a classic dog toy. This one squeaks, so I like tennis balls that squeak. Teaching your puppy how to come to you is critical, and you can start right away with introducing this general concept, but do understand that it takes months of training, come when called, in a variety of different settings before your dog truly understands and generalizes the skill. Here's a fun little exercise we can do to get started. I've got a little treat here. This is a dog treat, and I'm using a dog treat here because it's easy to toss. You can start by tossing a little treat like that over there, and since she knows that treat's coming from me, she's likely to come back on her own here after a couple of attempts to say, hey, can I have another one? And I'm gonna give her another one. Toss the treat. There she goes. And she's gonna wait for her to naturally come back to me. Come. Very good. I'm saying come as she's in the process of walking to me just to let her know what she's doing. So that's a really great way to introduce this whole concept of come when called to your new puppy. Uh, teaching your new puppy how to walk on a leash can be definitely a little problematic at first because, you know, puppies don't really understand why we would attach them to a leash, but it's for their safety so we can keep good control of them. And I'd like to see how Goldie responds to her first leash walking session. We're already gonna start to combine some of the things that we've already gone over. In order to keep this really simple, all I wanna do is see if I can get look at me while moving. She looked up at me. So I'm gonna go ahead and reward at this point in her training almost every time that she looks up at me while moving. She's kind of pulling ahead, but I really want her paying attention to me. Hey, yes, good girl. Very good. Over here, come on. There we go, up here. So you can see we're already combining things like look at me, come when called, can we get a sit? We sure can. So things are really coming together quickly here for one training session. Now, if your dog's doing this well, don't get too excited or overconfident because it's a lot easier for dogs to pick up these easy skills like this in a really distraction-free environment. And that's really where you wanna start with your dog as to not overwhelm them. The main thing you want is your dog just paying attention to you while moving, and we are certainly accomplishing that here. I'm rapidly changing directions, trying to be unpredictable. A little hesitation there, but I just worked with her through it, and I'm resisting the urge to pull her to say, hey, come on, because that's not really gonna teach her anything long-term or at all for that matter. Her leash skills are looking fantastic. You're off to such a good start. Next, you're definitely going to want to be able to get your dog's attention on you when you ask. So for this, you'll need a good food reward or play reward, whatever your dog is responding to, and a positive attitude. Most dogs aren't going to intuitively understand their name just because you keep saying it to them. However, most dogs, especially young curious ones like Goldie, will respond to you know a high-pitched sound or a kissy noise, let's see. And she looked up at me, so I'm gonna go ahead and give her a reward. And so every time she responds to any vocalization I'm making, I'm gonna go ahead and reward her. Now, after a few times of doing that, you can start to pair that with your dog's name. Goldie, right there, good. See, she was investigating my hand for treats, I made the sound, and she looked up at me. Goldie, <laughs> nice job. Let's let her forget about the treats for a second. Goldie. Yes, 
And right there, even though she didn't respond immediately, I gave it a second, I didn't continue to say, Goldie, 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 because I had a hunch she was gonna look up at me. Goldie! She's doing great. So she's really coming around very quickly. Now, of course, you'll need to be ready for house training as well. And house training can be a weeks to months long process, so don't underestimate what's required there. But if you're really consistent and you start immediately, you can dramatically reduce the time it would otherwise take. If you have a new dog, especially a young puppy, don't put the responsibility on them to let you know when they have to go. For now, just give them ample opportunities to relieve themselves in acceptable places. That way you can help them develop good habits by preventing bad ones from day one. Real time that we've been focusing on this training session is probably 30 minutes so far. There's a lot you can do with your dog right away when you get them, but training is really about repetition and training in a variety of contexts over a period of many months. But this is how you get started. Obviously, there's a lot more to training a puppy than what we've covered here, but I'm going to have a link to my playlist on how to teach your puppy or dog the basics and beyond in order. That'll also be in the description. Hey, don't forget to set up automatic pet food delivery at PetFlow. Enter code ZAC30 when you check out and you'll get $10 off your first three automatic shipments. We make videos all of the time, so make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any of them. Thank you to our Patreon supporters, and if you want special perks and easy access to me, make sure you join us on Patreon. That link will be below. Click thumbs up for Goldie. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook for sure. Grab a copy of my book as well, and we'll see all of you in the next video. Good girl, you did great. Oh, you did so good. Okay, fine.